Good morning, everyone. You are welcome to Art Affairs Biology, another interesting session that we're going to talk about the different parts of a plant. In this discussion today, I'll be emphasizing a part of the plant that have not prepared material on your behalf. One of that part of the plant I'm going to talk about is the stem. In my previous videos that you've seen uploaded, because I've seen I talked about the leaf and also talked about the roots. Today I'll be talking about the stem. So without much waste of time, let's get on to the lesson. Okay. Now today we'll be looking at plant stem. Plant stem. The objective of this lesson is very brief. We're going to define the stem and then we'll talk about the functions of the plant stem. Okay. Now, first we look at a typical plant. Any plant you observe, let's present the drawing. A typical plant looks like this. You have a path that grows like this, and we use this dotted line to represent the soil level. Right? And then somewhere here, we use this to represent the, the roots and then the other fibrous roots that spread out a bit like that of the typical plant. Right? This, of course, will represent the root. So we are not dealing with the root here. We are dealing with the part that actually grows above the soil. That's why we're going to talk about the plant stem. Now this is, this whole structure you see is referred to as the stem. Now, the stem of every plant is known as the shoot system. Now, interestingly, when you look at it very well, this same stem usually start producing branches. And the branches start producing leaves, very beautiful leaves like that. That goes like that. And then you see the leaves coming out like that with other smaller leaves. Here. You also have another branch that can come like this. And then you find the leaves like that coming out of this plant. All these are coming out of the stem. Still on the stem, you can also see that some plants will have beautiful flowers on the stem, like that. You use that to represent the flowers. And then you can also see that you will see on the stem, you can have fruits hanging. And then the terminal part of the stem will be there like that. So you see, interestingly, this will represent our flower, right? Typical flower. And then this structure here will represent our fruits, and of course, these ones will represent the leaf. So, what our focus is on the stem. So, everything from here down like this is called the shoot system. The shoot system, uh, shoot system. So, I don't get confused. So, the shoot system is that part of plant that grows above the soil. And it is the shoot system that is composed of the stem. Now, when you look at this stem, the basic definition now, based on what we have seen, we can now say stem. What does it mean by definition? You can say definition of stem, definition, definition, of definition of stem. It simply means plant parts, right? Plant part that grows. Let's make it easy. Plant that that grows above soil. Plant part grows above soil. It's called the stem. And this stem, as you can see from one indication, you can say that um, you can say it is part of shoot system. Part of the shoot system, right? Part of the shoot system. So we can refer to the stem as part of the shoot system. Now, when you look at the stem, it's very easy from here to go straight to functions of stem. Functions of stem. You don't need to be told. It's very easy. From that, you can see one of the functions is that hold leaves in position. You see that? Hold the leaves in position. So the first function is that it holds the leaves in position. Second function of the stem is that you can see it that it supports supports flowers. Okay, see that it supports the flowers. It can also support the fruits. You can use the word support fruits, right? 
These are things you find from the stem, support the fruits. And then when you look at the stem again, interestingly, as you see, from the soil here, the roots absorb water and mineral salts. And then inside this stem, there are tissues called vascular tissues that transport water and mineral salts. So we can see another portion of the stem is transport of water and mineral salts. Right? That's another function of a stem. Transport of water and mineral salts. And then we can also say that this stem, because the leaves are also carrying out the process of photosynthesis, and these leaves can actually contain glucose, and then this glucose are transported through the vascular tissues in the stem. And that means that the stem can now be used as an organ for food storage. So another function of the stem is food storage. You observe this in plants that have food stored in their stem. A very simple one that is known is a cane sugar. You see, when you look at a cane sugar plant, the stem contains a lot of sucrose. So a very good example is the cane sugar. So that's our discussion today at Apex Biology on that plant stem. We found that plant stem, in summary, is the part that grows above the soil. It's part of the shoot system, as you can see the diagram there. And then the functions of the stem is like hold the leaves, support the flowers, support the fruits, transport water and mineral salts, and also importantly is the food storage structure. So with this, do not forget that any diagram we present in biology you can just indicate the title you can call this diagram of a flowering plant. Okay? Around the plant. So that is the diagram. But the emphasis today is on stem. Hope the lesson is understood. Have a great day and continue to subscribe at Apex Biology so that we can get to continue to learn in biology tutorial. So subsequent presentation I'll be talking about the questions that have to be asked if at all an evaluation session comes on a plant stem. Have a great day. Bye.